Okay, so these are the keywords to learn for the Key Stage 3 reactions topic. Okay, a chemical form on the left hand side, and you've got products on the right hand side. The equation shows how atoms are rearranged and gives the relative amounts. So what you've got is you've got your arrow in the middle, you've got your reactants there, and you've got your products there. And what you've got to do is you've got to make sure you've got the same amount of atoms on the left hand side and the right hand side. That is called a balanced symbol equation. A change in which atoms are rearranged to create new substances. Okay, so you might have fuel, all right, and you might burn it to make something new. That is a chemical reaction. Funny enough, a chemical reaction with substances react quickly with oxygen and give out light and heat. Combustion. In a chemical reaction, the total mass of reactants is equal to the mass of the products. So on that one I did before, reactants to products, the mass of the reactants must be equal to the mass of the products. That is called conservation of mass. A chemical reaction in which a compound breaks down to form similar compounds. So breaking down is decomposition. A variable, variable that can only have whole number values is a discrete variable. An endothermic change transfers energy from the surroundings. Okay, again, I've got a bit of a clue in there. This is an endothermic change. An exothermic change transfers energy to the surroundings. Okay, it goes to the surroundings, and that's from the surroundings. And that is exothermic change. A fuel, big clue, made from the remains of animals and plants that died millions of years ago. Coal, oil, natural gas, fossil fuel. A material that burns to transfer useful energy. A fuel, like coal, oil, gas. A possible source of danger is a hazard, so you need to wear goggles, you need to tie your hair back, they're possible sort of solutions to hazards. They form over millions of years and they will one day run out, non-renewable. A chemical reaction in which substances react with oxygen to form oxides, oxidation. A change that is reversible in which new substances are not made include changes of state and dissolving, right? So really that's a bit like you put sugar in your tea, all right? There's no physical or chemical change. That is a physical change. A substance that is made in a chemical reaction, we did it before. So we've got product and a starting substance in a chemical reaction, reactant, reactant product. The chance of damage or injury from a hazard is a risk. So what science teachers all do, they always do in a practical, they always think of the risk. A way of representing a chemical reaction simply, the reactants on the left are the arrow and products on the right of the actual chemical itself. Word equation. Right, so we've just gone through all the key words for reactions. Now what you've got to do is you've got to test yourself. Okay, write them down, pause the video, right, into an exercise book. Right, you've done it once, hopefully you got them all right. If you did get them all right, fantastic, well done, do it again. If you didn't get them all right, uh, try harder. And what you've got to do is you've got to look at the ones you got wrong and now do it again. Okay, so that's job done. All right, so now you just got to know those words now. Um, and at some point in the future, just repeat them again.